my favorite scripture in the Book of Mormon comes out of the Book of Jacob. Um, the fa- my favorite part is in verse twelve, but kind of as a back uh, background, uh, also in verse ten and eleven. So it says, "Wherefore, brethren, seek not to counsel the Lord, but to take counsel from His hand. For behold, ye yourselves know that He counseleth in wisdom and in justice, and in great mercy over all His works." Wherefore, beloved brethren, be reconciled unto him through the atonement of Christ, his only begotten Son, and ye may obtain a resurrection, according to the power of the resurrection which is in Christ, and be presented as the first fruits of Christ unto God, having faith and obtained a great hope of glory in him before he manifesteth himself in the flesh. Okay, now this is my favorite part. He says, And now, beho- and now beloved, Marvel not that I tell you these things, for why not speak of the atonement of Christ, and attain to a perfect knowledge of Him, and to attain as to attain to the knowledge of a resurrection in the world to come. I love this because, to me, Jacob is saying, why not talk about the atonement of Christ more? We ought to talk about this more. Um, and he says, let's be reconciled to God through the atonement of Jesus Christ. This goes along with uh, one of my favorite quotes from Elder Packer where he says the atonement of Jesus Christ is the very root of Christian doctrine, and that everything that we can teach and learn is attached to the atonement of Jesus Christ, and that's where it gets its strength and its power. Uh, and I have found that the more that I've learned about the atonement of Jesus Christ and, and learn how, how I can apply it to my life, um, the more uh, of, a converted li- of a converted person I become and the more I come closer to him. That's been my, my very favorite thing to learn about is the atonement of Jesus Christ. And I know it's real and I know it's true. Not only because I've been able to be um, forgiven of my sins and the things that, that I do wrong or the mistakes that I make, but I've also found that um, at the same time, uh, the atonement has been able to change who I am personally inside so that maybe weaknesses I have or character flaws that I might have, those can change and those can become better. And those can be totally turned around because of this power that comes from the atonement, this grace that allows me to change in a way that I couldn't before. So I know that that, uh, Jesus Christ lives and I know his atonement is real. And I know that if we do what Jacob says here, if we talk about the atonement more, if we learn more about it, it will help us to come unto Jesus Christ. And I say that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.